your health or your wealth. Hello all, welcome to another podcast on my daily commute. Uh, Today I I was uh, just reading or listening to uh, a blog by the Mr. Money Mustache guy and you probably never heard of him unless you're in the finance financial blogger uh, bubble. And uh, he, it's a very good article where he just, you know, talks about at some point calling it quits when you're at the top of your game so you can reinvest the other part of your life in into other things that are meaningful. And, and that's huge, really huge, because what, you know, I didn't realize this until I became a dad back in November, but it was totally shifted my priorities upside down. Uh, I had, gosh, this, this great career, uh, six figure income, um, you know, top of the hierarchy, lots of people reporting to me. I, you know, just so much authority. And I definitely started to, uh, I wouldn't say that I let my ego get out of control, but I was tempted totally tempted by the prestige and then I'd go home and I'm cleaning up poop diaper diapers it's like two different worlds and the business world was was almost idolizing me where my my life at home was changing poop diapers so I began uh, to see myself get addicted to the business world because there I had prestige I don't have prestige at my house I have respect but not prestige um, so the that's a that's a great point where I that becomes addicting. It becomes real addicting. And and I would probably say the last you know two years uh, I joined a startup and, and been working a gazillion hours a week and it's been fantastic as far as what we've accomplished, the team I've worked with and uh, the, the money that we've all made and the things that we've built, the people that we've helped, it's been great and it's been addicting. But then I, after I had the child, I see that coming home at 7 p.m., you know, leaving the house at 7 and coming home at 7, I never see my daughter. Not only that, but I'm not working out. I haven't been in the gym, you know, serious in, serious time in the gym uh, during the week since November. I try what I can on the weekend, uh, but so it's like though the the welfare of my health system I know has gone downhill since November and I feel it because I feel more anxiety than I felt in my life before I feel I'm more restless than I've been before uh, I'm, I'm a little angrier than than I've been since before November and it might be due to lack of sleep because I'm a new parent but I know myself and I know that when I'm when I'm uh, not that healthy I tend to be a little more irritable. Uh, so I see, I, I'm only 34, uh, but I'm, 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 I'm doing okay pretty financially, uh, or pretty financial, from a financial standpoint. Uh, I could afford to quit my job, and, and, and I, that was one of the prime indicators of why my wife and I started the business and why it's such a romantic idea for me is because I can step away from the current career that I have. Uh, I've currently, I still work at the same um, same company, uh, and it's a great company. But I've pretty much demoted myself and my responsibilities, that, and 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 that's demoted my prestige. But I'm home, you know, at 5 p.m., uh, a little after 5 p.m., and I leave the house a little bit later in the morning, so I can wake up my daughter, I can eat breakfast with my family. Uh, this has given me a level of happiness that. I haven't had um, since I've had my daughter, and my daughter doesn't care if if uh, I have a director title or an associate title or just a simple analyst title. She doesn't care. She loves me and she wants me to be there, and I want to be there for her. Which is why the demotion while I was on top was a good idea. You know, quit while you're ahead. Because now I can spend more time exercising to ensure uh, I don't. I, I am around a little bit longer. Heart disease does run in my family, and about ten years from now is when I'm due for a heart attack, according to my genetics. So I better start taking that stuff serious. Like I said before, financially we're debt free. We have uh, 
uh, a good savings account and any middle class income is going to sustain our living standards. We, 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 live, we live well below uh, what the average uh, American income can, can uh, take care of. So the act of me choosing health over wealth is an astute observation that I think I, I made and, and I've already talked about it. There's been anxiety over demoting myself and the ego in me you know, wants to go back to this prestigious title. But the, the average sane person is in, inside me is happy, much more happier than that I get to see my daughter, that I get to spend more time with my wife talking, uh, walking, uh, that during the weekend I'm not thinking about work, I'm thinking about things that my family and I can do. So I chose, I chose the, the well-being of my health. Uh, and that did at the sacrifice of some additional wealth. And that's okay. That's at some point... Um, The difference between a million dollars and two million dollars really doesn't improve your life that much. So if you're starting at the bottom, obviously a hundred grand is is a fantastic life changer. But if you've got some point, having more money in the bank isn't going to change anything. And here's another uh, perspective. I've talked to many senior citizens, poor ones and rich ones. And one of, I've never seen a poor, I've never heard a poor senior say, I wish I made more money. But I've seen many rich seniors say the reverse, meaning I wish I spent more time with my family. That's a game changer for, my, for me. That's a game changer. So that's uh, all I have to say today. Uh, the values of, of quitting while you're ahead and determining that goal of when, when is enough money? When is enough prestige? When can I uh, reinvest my time into other skills? And that's kind of the, you know, the key point here because it is healthy to learn. It is healthy to, to grow and be uncomfortable. <clears throat> and if you're always on top, you're, you're kind of in a bubble. So... That's all I've got for today on the drive. I hope you guys have a have a good one.